Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you five very important artificial intelligence websites that could help you write your literature review in no time. First, let me go to Google Scholar and I have put in my keywords design, synthesis and application of analytical chemistry of photosensitive probes based on Qmarine. And this is the research paper I am interested in. Let me click over it. I'm going to copy its DOI right from here. And first, I'll go to this particular website called Scholar C. And here you can just enter the DOI of the research paper that you have just copied, paste it, and enter. Now, this website is going to summarize your paper into different sections. You can see it has summarized everything right over here. Under these captions, key concepts, synopsis, Scholar C highlights and similarly references. Let me show you key concept. Click. These are the key concept that have been discussed in this paper. Synopsis. It's generating a synopsis for us. So there you go. This is the synopsis of the paper. You can see these are a few lines that we could easily read and find out whether we are interested in this particular research paper or it is irrelevant to our own research. Similarly, down the road, you can see Scholar C highlights, full text, Scholar C summary. This is actually a new added feature into Scholar C. And uh, down the road, you can see we have future work. And you can also download references right from over here as well. Now, let me show you the other website that is SciSpace. This is a beautiful website. You can go over here by typing typeset.io. You can have a bird eye view of this particular website. By scrolling down, you can see popular conferences, today's trending topics, most read research journals, top institutions to learn from. And similarly, we have the questions right over here, trending questions, can tuberculosis cause weakness, what are antioxidant products, etc. And right over here, you can search your paper by authors, topics and uh, by many other options. Let me put in some keywords over here. I have inserted these keywords for a particular research paper I am interested in. It's going to, and there you go. The paper that I was looking for has been displayed right at the top. Design, synthesis and application in analytical chemistry for sensitive probes based on Qmarine. Now I can save it, cite it, share it, I can read it and uh, let me show you what else we can do. Click over it and there you go. The co-pilot got activated. You can directly go to results, conclusion, future work, contribution and uh, limitation of the research paper and a few other options. It must be noted that you can also find out the related research paper right from here as well. Click over it. And these are all the related research paper pertaining to your research. You can see conference papers, citations, etc. Let me click on its conclusion. It would show you the conclusion of the research paper and there you go these are a few lines you can read it and you can easily find out whether this research paper is related to your research or not in this way it can save you a hell lot of time you can also search a paper through years types authors institutions and there are many other filters as well let me show you what else this website can do click on my library and here you can upload a research paper. I have already uploaded a research paper. Let, let me show you my research paper. And there you go. It's very easy to understand this research paper using this size space AI tool. For example, you can come over here, click and your paper have been sectioned into these captions. For example, if you are interested in methods that have been used in this paper, click on it and it would show you the methods used in this paper. And there you go. The paper describes the synthesis and characterization of a highly selective and sensitive derivatizing reagent for chromium-3 and a magnetic nanocomposite as a SP absorbent. So this is actually the method that have been employed in this research. Similarly, you can ask it other questions like, uh, what database has been used in this paper, results of the paper, conclusion of the paper, limitations of the paper, 
future work suggested in this paper so these are already made up questions but you can also make up your own question and ask it as well let me show you what else it can do in the title you can see flow injection microfluidic device i don't know what is microfluidic device you can just select this and now you can click on explain text it would immediately explain this text to you in no time and there you can see it has given the detail of a microfluidic device a microfluidic device is a small scale system that manipulates and analyzes fluids in micro channels typically in order of microliters or even nanoliters similarly if you have a table inside your research paper it can easily explain it to you let me check what this table is about click on explain math and table select this and it has started explaining what is inside this table and there you go the highlighted text presents two different experiments conducted in the research paper so it has explained everything regarding this table over here you can read it and you can check it it has beautifully explained everything the third ai research tool is paperdigest.org over here you can enter your keywords let me put in a few keywords over here heavy metals probes fluorescence probe click and there you go heavy metal fluorescence probes it has given you the related work over here and it has also summarized the related research now over here they are asking for review whether it was good bad or very bad etc you can if you are starting your literature review then you can use this website it would help you find out the relevant research data in no time double check everything because it's a new website it might make mistakes and you can also you can have these filters right over here as well you can ask it to give you the past five years research papers past month past year etc and it would immediately show you the related research you can see related work past five years summarizing the related work and there you go i won't suggest you to copy paste everything right from here just read it and use it as a starting point the other ai website that would help you write your literature review is elicit.org here you can ask it the question related to your research let me ask it what are the new probes for heavy metals ions in polluted water click on search and there you go it has given you the list of the research papers that has your keywords in it has given you the abstract summary right over here as well you can ask it whether the pdf of this particular paper is available or not you can also use these other filters right from here published after study type keywords etc you can sort it and export it as a bib or csv file as well you can check the intervention number of participants outcome measured let me click on this first one and there you go this is the abstract of the research paper this is the abstract summary what did they test what outcomes did they measure the sensors performance for low concentration of heavy metal ions the sensor sensitivity for cadmium ion etc can i trust this paper etc so it would immediately help you find the gist of the paper that you are looking for now the last ai tool is lit maps it would actually help you see the research in your area chronologically starting from a particular year down the road let me put in the DOI of a research paper. Let me copy the DOI of this particular paper. I'll go to lit maps, paste, continue, generate a map, and there you go. You can see it has given you top related articles that are relevant to your research. If you click on anyone, it would give you the article along with the title, abstract, etc. Similarly, in 2019 this paper was published down the road you can see the papers and these are the latest research paper related to your research click on this and this is the research paper that have been published only recently you can view its seed map 
view source add it to your collection let me click on view seed map and there you go now these are the articles that are related to this particular research paper you can look into it you can find out what is related to you or what is not i hope you have found this tutorial useful it would help you write your literature review easily please consider subscribing and thanks for watching